Hi, hey y'all, welcome in. My name is Lauren Flynn and I'm the fitness graduate assistant here at Oklahoma State University. So we're gonna do a cycling class and so the biggest theme that we're gonna talk about today is that time versus tempo programming. So we're gonna do an example of each, so one song of each, after we work through that warm up and get that heart rate up. After we do this, we'll slowly build that cool down so you can just kind of get a little bit of a snapshot of what the class is going to be like. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that first song started. All right, y'all, so first of all, welcome in again. Like I said, we're gonna start off listening to some Cardi, so hopefully that gets everybody kind of in the mood. So the first thing that we are gonna do is we're gonna talk about the specs of the bike. Just to make sure that we are all on the same page, whether it's your first class ever, or if it's your millionth time coming in. We're gonna go over the bike. We're on a Kaiser bike here at Oklahoma State, so we're gonna talk about the specs of that. So the first thing I want to direct you to is your feet. That's the biggest thing that I like to talk about with bikes. So this one I want you to think about constantly pushing that heel to the ground. So you wanna think about squatting a bug with your heel and making sure that you're pulling each leg up as you come in the revolutions. So moving up to the knees. So I always want you to think about those knees are going to be in line with the foot as to make sure that they are nice and straight because if they're coming in or they're coming out a little bit too much that might be a seat height issue that we need to discuss while you're in the middle of class. Just hop off, raise your hand if you need a little bit of help and we can definitely change the height of the bike. So moving up to the hips. The biggest thing with hips is this is the function of where we're moving from. So I want everybody to come off that bike for a second. All right, looking good. We're going to pull those shoulders all the way back. Chest nice and tall. Think about bringing those shoulders away from your ears. All right, from here we're going to be hinging at the hips. Slight grip on the handlebars. So on the handlebars, I want you to have that little bend in your elbows as you go. Not fully locking them out. I'm kind of keeping them nice and soft. So that way you can relieve some of that pressure that might be built up. Speaking of our hands, in the middle of our hands is this red resistance knob. So that red resistance knob is reflected on the bottom left of the screen so on my screen right now it has a one just because I'm at the lowest what I want you to figure is a number between 8 and 12 that's what I like to call your resting heart rate it's or sorry pardon your resting gear shift and that's where you'll come down to whenever we are on rest during the class again so talking about the screen at the top line it's there's a number and it says rpm and that is our revolutions per minute that's how fast we're going right now with that gear shift from that 8 to 12 I'm at a 10 so if you all are at 10 that's completely fine as well and it's that whole number that top line, I want to be at 75 RPM. So making sure that it's nice and fast. Let's go ahead and get there. All right, good. Everybody's feet are looking good. Make sure we're still pushing that heel down. Looking nice. So this one, remember keeping those shoulder blades back. Right now, we're going to talk about a little bit more of the kind of exercises that we're going to be doing during class, as well as talking about water breaks. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to talk about coming up out of the saddle. So anytime we come up out of the saddle, I want you to increase that gear shift by a couple. I want you to feel free. I want to take your time coming up out of that saddle. Standing nice tall, looking good. Okay, so with that, the heel is still pushing down all the way to the ground. Good. Biggest thing whenever you're standing tall, you want that light grip on the handlebars. So you should be able to do it a little hard the first time you do it, of course, but definitely coming back and doing that throughout. Looking good. So the next thing we're going to talk about is the hover position. So I love me a good hover. And some of y'all have been here before. Y'all know we got a good hover. So this one, what I want you to think about is pulling that something is pulling your hips to the back of class. So that will look like your hips are going to all the way back over the saddle. That chest is almost parallel with the ground. Good. Yeah, so you, so you can hold it at the bottom, as I see you doing over there, or you can grab it at the top, whatever is comfortable, or reaching those hands right in the middle. Biggest thing is you want that back nice and flat, and that chest down. Looking good. We're going to come to that standing position and sitting back down. Bring that gear shift back to base. Go ahead, grab a drink of water. I'm gonna do it just because I'm a little thirsty already. Of course, feel free to grab your water at any point. Grab a sweat rag, wipe yourself off if you need to. I know I'll be doing it. We're all a little bit sweaty already, so it'll be a really good class, I feel like. All right, also for our first working exercise, we're gonna do a pyramid scheme. So with this one, we're still at our baseline. So top line's at 75, bottom line's at that baseline gear shift. So the biggest thing that we're gonna focus on is holding that top line at 75. So you're gonna be alternating that gear shift, bringing it up a little bit higher, as well as dropping it down for that rest period. So whenever I say go, we're gonna increase that gear shift to about 15. I know it looks like a lot, but you got it. All right, let's bring it up for 15. So you're holding it, I'm gonna turn it up just a little bit. 
All right, so we are here, holding it 10 more seconds. You're just kind of getting used to it. Top line, still at 75. Coming down in three, two, one. Bring that gear shift back down. Hold that top line at 75. Nice, it's a quick 15 second rest. That's all we get. And three, two, one. Bring that gear shift back up at 15. You want a little bit more challenge? Crank it up a little bit more. If not, just hold it right here. We're gonna be here just a little bit longer for this one. 30 seconds total. Whew. How's everybody feeling? Oh, great, I'm sweating so I hope y'all are back there. I see, I see you, yeah, I get it. Make sure we're pushing down. You got 10 seconds to go. Keep that momentum. I know it's starting to burn. Watch that top line. 75. Coming down in five. All right, bring it down. I know it's a little slow part. Again, 50 seconds. We got two more. No we'll transition. Biggest thing, that top line's at 75. Getting ready in three, two, one. Bring it up. Still at 15 on that gear shift. This one's a short one again. So we're alternating in between. Deep breath. Make sure you keep those shoulders back. Feet to the ground, heels down, good. For five. And bring it down. We got one more. Quick 15 second rest. Don't grab that water just yet. Take a little bit of time. Coming up in five, three, two, one. Bring it up, last one. Gear shift up. Hold it 30 seconds right here. Push it, drive those knees up. Pushing those heels down. Deep breaths. 15 to go. Maybe think of that goal that we talked about at the very, very beginning of everything. And three, two, and one. Bring it back down. Grab a quick drink of water if you'd like. The last thing we're gonna do is that Tabata. Oh, I see y'all remember the Tabata. Good and, good and bad, of course, of course. So with the Tabata that we're gonna talk about today, we're gonna do a standing and hover complex. So the first thing I want you to do, bring that gear shift up, because we're coming up out of the saddle. Go ahead, stand up. We're gonna get started in three, two, one, hips back for that Tabata. 20 seconds, we're gonna be here. Keeping that good form, back nice and flat, chest to the ground. And in five seconds, we're gonna stand up. Three, two, one, coming up. This is our rest. All right, so that was one whole cycle. We're gonna do eight total, okay? Whew. It's hard to breathe, y'all. Three, two, one, chest down. Good, hold it here, 20 seconds. Keep pushing those hips back. I want you to feel it in the glutes. Nice, y'all. Coming up in five, three, two, one. Popping it up. Keep it going. Good, Jordan. Looking good back there. Getting ready in three, two, one. Back down. This is number three. With some Cardi, some Jay Baldwin. Get you through the end of it. Holding here for 10 more seconds. Deep breaths, make sure that belly button's pulled to the spine. Coming up in three, two, and one. Deep breaths, we got five more total. Coming back down for number four in three, two, and one. Chest down. Deep breaths, y'all, we got it. For 10, hold it. Coming up in five, three, two, and one, coming up. All right, y'all, we're gonna take it all the way down, take that gear shift down. All right, I'm gonna start us down for a cool down, but that is essentially what the cycling class will be like. I know I cut that Tabata in half just a little bit, just so we can make sure that we had that adequate time. Y'all, it's hard to breathe a little bit. So with 
that we are going to, we would do double that. So just do it again as we alternate in between, like I said, that tempo and time programming. Whew. Man, it's hot here. Is it hot in here? Is it hot in here? Okay, okay. It is. All right, so we're slowly gonna start cooling down. The song will change. So we'll slowly take that gear shift off of the body. Let's take about three or four off. Shoulders back. I think about rolling those shoulders back. About four times. And then forward, same amount. Making sure we're getting all that range. A little bit of tension out. All right, bring that right arm across. Are you rolling that wrist out? I feel like you got a little bit of tension on it while we were up there. And switching. The other way. Well done, y'all. That was a good little class, am I right? <laughs> yes, it was good, good. Release right elbow to the sky. Nice. Good, Mikey, you can go back there. Release and switch. Rachel, how was it? Oh, that's what I like to do, that's what I like to do. And you're slowly gonna release. Bring all of that gear shift off the bike. Slowly bring those feet to a stop. I wanna thank you so much for watching this cycle demo and just for your consideration in the future. Again, my name is Lauren Flynn and I am the fitness graduate assistant at Oklahoma State. Go folks!